What's good? What's good? It's the one and only, but what do I know? Boxing coming back at y'all with another one, man. So we got Eddie Hearn speaking on possibly getting a fight with Canelo and um, Edgar Belanga. After a few fights, he say, says past this one and then one more. And he feels like Edgar Belanga will be ready for a shot at Canelo. Now, personally, you know, of course, you know, I, I, I'm going to be honest. If Canelo, if, if Eddie, if Edgar Belanga gets a shot at Canelo before... David Benavidez or Demetrius Andre, I'm going to be highly upset. I'm going to really be upset, and I'm going to really go in on that. And I really do not care what any of you casual fans that don't even really know what you're talking about has to say. Because why? Because it makes absolutely no sense that Ed, Edgar Belanga can get a sh title shot with Canelo before David Benavidez, all right? Now, let me do the research on this real quick, and then I'm going to speak on it. And then I want to, I, I, I really, really want to know what you guys think about this. So make sure, make sure you guys, make sure you guys comment. You know, of course, like, comment, subscribe, all that. But make sure you guys comment your opinion because I really want to discuss this. And if you disagree with me, drop it in the comment section, bro. I don't mind it at all. But personally, bro, I just feel like this is a lot of BS going on. So let's, let's look at it. This is for the words of Eddie Hearn. He did his interview with IFL TV. Shout out to them. He stated, we want to build the Edgar Belanga fight, but he has to. He still has to get past Jason Quigley, you know, a guy that uh, I really thought Shane Mosley Jr. beat. But anyways, and a guy that Demetrius Andre knocked out uh, in the second round or stopped in the second round and says, and probably needs one more to cement himself as a legitimate contender. But the Benavidez fight is a big fight. But Canelo is desperate to fight Dimitri Bivol and take and I take my hat off to him. Also, let's 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 read some more into it because that's not what I was you know being uh, said. All right, so shout out to MarketBoxing.com. It says Eddie Hearn breaks down what Edgar Belanga needs to do to secure a fight with Canelo Alvarez for Edgar Belanga to have a chance against boxing's moneymaker Canelo Alvarez. He would need to do more than just he would need more than just striking ability and skills in order to get a crack at the Mexican superstar who is a current undisputed king at 168 pounds. Promoter Eddie Hearn said that he would need to perform well in his next few fights. It says Berlanga signed a deal with Hearn's matchroom that he has described as being worth multi millions of dollars. After di after differing on how to advance his career, Berlanga cut ties with longtime promoter Top Rank earlier this year. Berlanga won all 16 of his previous fights by first round knockouts, but in his last four, he has gone the full distance and has generally generally looked underwhelming. Edgar Berlanga, now part of Matchroom Boxing, the hard hitting promoter, I'm sorry, the hard hitting Puerto Rican super middleweight, considered promotional offers from Oscar De La Hoya, Golden Boys Promotion, and Al Hammond's premier boxing champion before settling on British organization, which is a sizable output agreement with the zone. It appears that a future chance of com to compete with Alvarez has been a significant role in Berlanga's choice with signing with Hearn. Alvarez appears to be working with Hearn above any other promoter despite the, face, the fact that he is a free agent. So I want you guys to understand that Canelo is a free agent, but he is working with Eddie Hearn on a case-by-case -case basis. Kind of like how Mikey Garcia was doing with the PBC. Alvarez's intentions for 2024 are already being discussed according to Eddie Hearn. Look, we want to make the Canelo fight, but he has to, but Eddie Edgar Belanga has to prove his value in that fight. He's got to beat a couple of world ranked fighters on the on the way to that. But the first thing with us will be in June. So Big signing for Matchroom Boxing in the zone. We are looking forward to work with Eddie Berlanga. Edgar, I said Eddie. I keep saying Eddie Berlanga. Edgar Berlanga and his team, said Eddie Hearn. All right, man. So let, let's talk about it, bro. All right, man. So, so let's talk about it, man. First and foremost, bro. I don't know. Like, honestly, let's... Who in... in the zone does not have that many big names at the super middleweight division, right? As a matter of fact, I can name you the uh, only super middleweights that they have that, uh, excuse me, my sinuses are acting up, but um, the only super middleweights that they have at the zone. So it's like either they're going to have to work with the PBC or 
they're gonna sell uh, try to try to make a BS fight between Edgar Belanga should he get past Jason Quigley. But the only super middleweight at the zone is Aaron Aaron Bowen. All right, Aaron Bowen, who has the record of 20 and three with one knockout. All right, um, that, that that is just bizarre. I can't even name the guys that I, I don't even know the guys that he lost against. The guy that he lost against, 16 and three. Uh, the, dang, that same guy. He he lost to that same guy twice, and uh, and then he lost his pro debut against somebody in their pro debut. That's uh, that's bizarre to me. Okay. They say they have Billy Joe Saunders, but Billy Joe Saunders has been out of the ring for two years now. And, bro, let's be serious. The last time we seen Billy Joe Saunders, he looked like Santa Claus. So it's not like I don't expect Billy Joe Saunders to come back at 168. All right. Of course, they got Canelo Alvarez on a case by case basis. They got um, Diego Pon Poncheco. Um, that's my guy. I, I got nothing but respect for Diego. I'm actually going to see him and David Benavidez this Friday. But um, I got nothing but love for Diego and I got nothing but respect for Diego. But, bro, Diego, he's still up and coming himself. All right? He's still an up and coming fighter himself. Diego Pancheco does not give you... He doesn't... David Benavidez just fought Caleb Plant, da uh, uh, David um, Lemieux. All right, he's he's been in there with, with at least guys that we know. Diego Pancheco is not gonna get you a Canelo Alvarez fight. Nothing but respect to my guy Diego. All right, they got John Ryder. Who I, I could possibly see him uh, them putting Edgar Berlanga up against John Ryder, which would actually be a good fight. But beating John Ryder, I don't feel like that fight gets you because nobody even wanted to see Canelo fight John Ryder. Okay. Um, but I, it, it will be a nice start. It will be a good start. Don't get me wrong. If you're on the road to face Canelo, fighting John Ryder would get would, would be the direction to go. But just because you beat John Ryder, that doesn't. Oh yeah, we want to see him with Canelo now. No, I don't know. And then Kieran um, Conway, who I who who has the record of like 19 and three with four knockouts. Who he has not fought anybody that I've uh, recognized. Um, I don't know anybody that he's beat. I don't know anybody he's lost to. So, uh, I, I just, I, it, it, it would, it would be very disrespectful to, for, for you to try to sell. Now, it should, should Edgar Belanga be um, a top fighter? I think he would have more leeway than Demetrius Andrade, who just has a terrible resume. But bro, honestly, you can't tell me, or you nobody can convince me why Edgar Berlanga would have more of a leeway to Canelo than David Benavidez. Really, David Benavidez and Demetrius Andre, but especially David Benavidez, because at least David Benavidez has been in there with the Caleb Plants. He's been in there with the uh, with the David Lemuse. He just, you know, he's he's been wanting uh, wanting more fights. It's rumored that he's going to fight uh, David Morrell next. You know, all these guys that I just named, David Morrell. Uh, uh, David Benavidez, Demetrius Andre, Caleb, these guys des are more deserving of a fight than Edgar Belanga. Edgar Belanga has not been impressive at all. Um, he hasn't had a stoppage. He They built him off of uh, being a first round knockout artist, which was a gift and a curse because now he gets in there with somebody that's halfway decent and he looks just, he looks average, you know? So I don't, I don't, I just don't understand how you could justify this. Edgar Belanga still has work that he that needs to be done. Now, after you know, who knows what's Can what Canelo is going to do after he fights Dimitri Bibble? The Canelo is it's not nothing that has been official yet, but it is rumored that he's going to fight Dimitri Bibble. Uh, we don't know in what way because Dimitri Bibble did say he wanted to fight him for his belts at 168, but the WBC. Said, stated that they were not going to uh, sanction him. They're not going to allow him to fight for their titles, Dimitri Bibble. Um, but regardless, we don't know what way, so it's nothing Nothing has been official yet. However, it we know that that's more likely to, uh, to happen. Now, after that fight, obviously, if Canelo's going to defend his title at 168, bro, we, we have to see it against David Benavidez. Now, for everybody that says, well... They're not on the same. Don't give me that. They're not in the same promotional company. They don't have that. They're on the two different promotions or whatnot. Don't give me that BS because we 
Everybody was talking so down on Errol Spence and uh, Terrence Crawford for not making that fight for being uh, quote unquote separate sides of the street. So don't don't give me that BS because Canelo is not signed with anybody. He's a free agent. He just works with Matchroom on a case by case basis. All right. So you know again. It's no excuse why And then also Canelo You know let's not forget You know Canelo collected Every belt from each fighter Except for David Benavidez That was the only belt that he That's the only fighter that he didn't get the belt off of Uh, And of course You know that wasn't Canelo's fault David Benavidez uh, Missed weight or whatnot, And he was stripped from the title And they Sanctioned it at, uh, they, they they made You know The winner of Canelo Versus Caleb uh, Smith To be The uh, the winner of that Vacant title So Canelo collected Every belt from the champion uh, From each champion Except for David Benavidez So Again If Caleb Smith Deserved to fight With Canelo uh, Caleb Plant Deserved to fight With Canelo Who, who, who did uh, Canelo Get the W WB Oh Who did he get the Oh Billy Joe Saunders Deserved to fight. Um, deserved to fight with Canelo. David Benavidez definitely deserves a fight with Canelo. I don't care what anybody has to say. David Benavidez deserves this fight way before Edgar Belanga. I would rather see Canelo versus Demetrius Andre and David Benavidez before Edgar Belanga. And you just can't up. You can't prove like. I just can't agree with anything else. All right. Let me know what you guys think. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. But what do I know?